friends, Still Tech has brought another exclusive video based on poetic devices of all the poems of class 12th English for board examination 2021. You will find all the poetic devices and figure of a speech in just one video. So keep watching till end, which is going to be very, very useful to you for quick revision of poems. So let us start with poem one, that is My Mother at 66. All of you know this poem is written by Kamla Das. In this poem, she talks about the pain experienced by a woman when she looks at the aging mother. And the thought of losing her fills her heart and she experiences a pain. So in this poem, let us see which are the poetic devices used by the poet. So the first poetic device used by the poet is a simile. A simile is a comparison. So the face of the mother is compared to a corpse. So in which line it is done? In the line face ashen like that of a corpse. So here a simile is used. The next expression is the poet's mother's face is compared to a late winter's moon. So as word is used here and it is also an example of a simile. Then she uses contrast. The words, contrasting words are used here, drive and dose. The word drive suggests energy and the dose word suggests passivity. So these words are contrasting. Then she uses personification. In this expression, young trees sprinting, she uses personification. Then she uses metaphor. In these expressions, merry children is spilling out. This is an example of metaphor. Then repetition is used in these words, smile, smile and smile. So now let us move on. The poetic devices used in second poem, an elementary school classroom in a slum. All of you know, this poem is written by Stephen Spender. In this poem, he talks about the life of slum children and he wants that there should be some upliftment in the lives of slum children. He talks about social injustice and class inequalities in this poem. So now let us talk about the different images or poetic devices used in this poem. First of all, let us see the use of simile. The first simile is used when the children are compared like rootless weeds. This is an example of simile. Then another example is like bottle bits on stone. Then like catacombs. Then slum as big as doom. So all these four are the example of simile. Another figure of speech used in the poem is transferred appetite. The example for this is not disease. Next is irony. Spender uses irony in these expressions. Surely Shakespeare is wicked and math a bad example. This is an example of irony. Then he uses repetition in these expressions. Example of repetition is far far from gusty waves. Another example of repetition is break or oh break open till they break. And far, far from rivers and caves. Then let us move to the next figure of speech. That is alliteration. Alliteration means repetition of certain sounds. Repetition is used in these expressions far, far from and bottle bits. Here these expressions are, sounds are repeated. Then metaphor is used in these places in this poem. First metaphor is used in rat's eyes. Then use of metaphor in this expression 
father's gnarled disease. Another metaphor used in the poem is future is painted with fog. Then he uses metaphor in these expressions also from fog to endless night and spectacles of steel. All these are the examples of metaphor in the poem. Then imagery is used by Spender in these expressions. Tree room is an image. Lead sky also is an image. Squirrel's game is also an image. And gusty waves. This is also an example of imagery. Then symbols are used in weight down head, endless night and language is sung. So we can see that this full poem abounds in poetic devices. Now dear friends, let us move to poem 3, Keeping Quiet by Pablo Neruda. In this poem, the poet talks about counting up to 12 and keeping it still so that we can achieve a protective silence and we can use this time for introspection to evaluate our follies. So which are the figure of speech or poetic devices used in this poem. So first of all, the poet uses personification in these expressions, face of the earth. Then he uses alliteration in these expressions, his hard hands. He uses repetition in these expressions. Let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for a second. And wars with gas, wars with fire. A new expression here is of irony. He uses irony in this expression. Victory with no survivors. He uses euphemism. In this expression, no truck with death. This is a figure of a speech in which mild expressions are substituted for something which is unpleasant or embarrassing. Then he uses synecdoche in this expression, not move our arms so much. Synecdoche is a figure of a speech in which we a part is made to represent the whole. Means the word arms represent ourselves. So in this poem, the poet uses all these poetic Let us move on to poem 4, A Thing of Beauty which is written by John Keats. In this poem, the poet talks about the impact of beautiful objects found in nature on us. They are always a constant source of joy for us and removes the sadness of our heart which is caused by various things discussed in the poem. But let us talk about the poetic devices and figure of speech used in this poem. First of all, let us talk about metaphor. Metaphor is used in this expression, a bar quiet for us. Another metaphor is wreathing a flowery pet. Then, some shape of beauty moves away the fall. So fall is a covering. So this is also an expression of metaphor. One more metaphor which is also an expression of imagery is an endless fountain of immortal drink. This is also a metaphor used in this book. Then alliteration is used in this expression. Cooling cover. Here C sound is repeated. Outing a shady wound for simple sheep, here S sound is repeated. Noble nature, here N sound is repeated. And some shape and band to bind, here also repetition is there. So alliteration is used in all these expressions. Then the poet uses personification in these two things. Inhuman death and some shape of beauty. Transport epithet is used in the expression unhealthy and over darkened rays and gloomy days. Then imagery is used in the expressions clear rills, 
must cross bloom the sun and the moon and a biblical reference is also there in this poem that is simple sheep so i hope you must have understood the poetic devices of the poem a thing so, of friends let us move on to the last poem on jennifer's tactics this poem entry and which talks about the constraints faced by a woman in her married life and this poem has got number of figures of speech and poetic devices so the first is the symbols the poet uses two different symbols the first one is tigers the tigers are representing untamed free spirit they are the symbols of bravery courage confidence and attitude another symbol used is that of wedding band this symbol symbolizes or this symbol is used for oppression in unhappy marriage the poet uses transferred epithet in the words terrified hands then she uses alliteration in these expressions fingers fluttering chivalric certainty prancing proud she uses imagery in bright topaz denizens she uses metaphor in this expression still ringed with audience she was mastered by then she uses hyperbole in this expression the massive weight of uncle's wedding band so this poem on jennifer's tigers talks about all these figures of speech we have revised all the poetic devices and figures of speech used in all the five poems for class 12th english i hope you must have immensely benefited from this video so if you want to see similar type of videos subscribe study track and keep watching and keep enjoying